Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find items in Smithsonian's new open access collection that was announced earlier this week it has nearly 3 million items that are now available in the public domain. So let's go ahead and take a look at the site. It's si.edu slash open access. And there is a search function here. And we can go in and just do a quick little search. Maybe I want to find something about airplanes. So I'll do my search and it pulls up all collection items as well as all of their websites that have references to airplanes or about airplanes. Now over here on the left hand side, these are just images. We'll see we have 3D items down here, but we can also go through these tabs at the top. All right, so let me just click on 3D. And that'll bring up these two 3D elements. I'll take the 1903 Wright Flyer. We'll click through on that. And now we see the licensing information. And if I want to download this 3D model, we have these options here for downloading it. Now, let's go back and take a look at the collection images. And it's very similar. We'll go and find that image. Hit our download button and we can download it in the format that we would like. Now, there are other ways to search through these collections. We can just go and browse through some of the platforms and we can see some of the stuff that they've highlighted here. And those are further down the page, but what we also have is an advanced search option through the collections search center. And that's this right here. And again, we have some search highlights and some featured items, but we can go and browse by category, paintings, archival materials, photographs, prints. We can look through all those items. Now we'll get coins and money. We can open up that collection. We'll see there's 92,000, almost 93,000 items in this collection. But let's do a search. Maybe I want to do a search for something about mountains or mountaineering. So there's mountaineering, and I can do my search, or I can do more advanced search options and say only return results with online media. I can limit it to museum objects, limit it to library and archives, or limit it to one of these other categories down here. Let's do only return results with CC0 media. And now I'll do my search. And we'll see what comes up. We've got 82,000 results through there. So let's go in and refine this a bit more. Let's hit photographs. And now we've refined this. Now, bear in mind, this is searching for anything that has mountain, not just mountaineering in it. There we see Mount Hood from Lost Lake. Let's take a look at that image. Let's click on it and view all the information we can about it and go ahead and hit the download button when we find it, find that we like it. Download my high resolution JPEG. Drag that to my desktop. Now, we also have this option up here for lists. And you see right now, I don't have any lists in this session. Let's add this to my list. 
And I don't have any list created yet, so let's create a new one. We call it Mountain Pictures. I'm going to add to that list. Now, this list, let's go back and add another item to it. This list is only working for this session right now. I can add it directly, but I want to view this in a larger size before I add it. So let's add that to my list. I'm going to add it to my mountain pictures and add it in. And you can see now, if I want to save this list, I'm going to email this list. I can email it to myself and send it away. I can keep keep track of that. We don't see up here any option to sign in or to save that session. So that's the Smithsonian Open Access Collections. It could be a great place to find some historical photographs and other artifacts for your students to use. As always, more tips and tricks and resources like this, please check out practicaledtech.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.